Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to convert a hard drive from MBR to GPT without losing any data. All right, so we have disk management open here. You see if we right click this, it says convert to GPT, which tells us it's an MBR disk, but you can't convert it uh, using disk management. And also the Windows drive here happens to be an MBR disk as well. All right, so to do so, we're going to do it on this drive because you can't do it on your C drive using the method we're going to show you. But there is a Windows command you could run either within Windows or from the Windows PE environment that will allow you to convert your Windows disk from MBR to GPT. So I'll put a link in the description for that. And then we might also do a video on it, assuming it actually works without you know losing all the data. All right, so we have this disk one here, 50 gigs. And then if I go to that drive here, here's the E drive with the files and folders on there. All right, so the tool we're going to be using is called Niobe Partition Editor. So this is a free program. So they do have a pro version, but the free version will do the job in this case. And they also have an installable version and a portable version. So we're using the portable version, so there's nothing to install. You just extract the zip file, run the executable. All right, so you can see here we have MBR and MBR. So if we try and do it to the C drive or the system drive, you can see it gives us a message here. This contains the system boot volume. You are not allowed to convert it because it will cause the system to be unbootable. But that's fine because we're not going to be using it for the C drive. We're going to be using it for disk one, the E drive. All right, so what you should do is make sure you have all of your folders closed. For File Explorer, make sure you don't have any files open on that drive. So we're going to right click it, convert MBR to GPT, say yes. All right, so what you have to do next is apply it. So just because it did it here, it's not actually done until you click on the apply button. Click OK. All right. So now it says GPT here. Let's refresh this. And now you can see we have the option to convert to MBR, even though it's grayed out, but that tells us it's GPT. Then if we go back and look at our files here, you can see we still have all of our files, so they were safe. You might want to do a backup just in case before doing anything like this with your hard drive, just in case something goes wrong. But so far it seems to work pretty well. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you can download Naive Partition Editor. And then you can convert your MBR disk to GPT. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.